Actually, nobody move for a second. <laughs> your glasses in the perfect. No, no, your glasses in the. Good morning. There was a bee that I thought was trying to buzz through the window there, and I don't know where he ended up. Today, uh, my friend Lindsay invited me to a little bit of an event down at the Tour d'Argent. The Tour d'Argent is famously the oldest restaurant in Paris. Uh, also, one of the very expensive restaurant that I've never eaten at, would like to, has a phenomenal view of the Notre Dame. But, uh, unfortunately, of course, the interior is closed until next week. So, we're going to be on their, I think their terrace out in front, investigating their bakery that they have. There are a couple little things on the menu for us today. And hopefully, hopefully, going upstairs and getting a little peek at their famous view from the rooftop. That's what I really hope happens. You know, sometimes though, you think that's got it. That's too good to be true. How could that possibly happen? I hope it, I hope it's true. I'm really excited for it. So uh, I'm up, I'm moving. I need to get a lock for the bike. So I'm not, I'm not going to take the bike down. I still need to grab one. Uh, so just, and she's not biking either. So I'll just meet her down there and uh, let's go check out the Tour d'Argent. <laughs> Almost forgot to get off the bus. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Just around the corner from here, La Tour d'Argent literally translates to the silver tower, or as I prefer to think of it, money tower. <laughs> it's not really a tower, it's, it's, it's the corner of a building. But it looks very exclusive. And unfortunately, it's not made out of silver, which would be way cooler. If it, like, can you imagine actually like a, a tower made out of silver here in town? That'd be sweet. Probably very tarnished, but sweet. Anyways, let's see if we can find Lindsay and hopefully find some food because I'm hungry. Bienvenue. L'indiqué, elle m'expliquait juste euh, l'origine de la petite épicerie oui. qui a ouvert en novembre. Oui. Ouais, j'ai pensé que ça c'est Voilà, c'est récent, mais c'est récent parce ouais. que. big uh, things that I was excited to, to come here for was for the wine selection, which I think I actually highlighted a little bit, but if you, first of all, some of these bottles are just insane for their particular collection. This place is famous historically, not only for being the oldest restaurant in the city, but also for having the largest wine cellar possibly. I don't know, is it the biggest, how big it, in competitive nature, how large is the wine cellar, do you know? Uh, la plus grand du monde, you say, on the... It's one of the largest in the world. They have 320,000 bottles of wine in their cellar. It's crazy. Among the, um, it's among the largest in the world. Obviously, not necessarily in terms of surface area, but in terms in of volume, having 320,000 yeah. bottles. It's pretty extraordinary. We could get through that. I think we can. Let's, <laughs> let's get started. We'll get some prep. Prep. Oh, prep. And uh, I guess the ice cream. Oh, I saw the ice cream. Sweet for, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm ready. I have never set foot in this place. Oh wow. Merci. Bonjour. She goes. Look at this place. Look at all the ducks. You're gonna notice a lot of ducks because they're famous for their duck. They've actually numbered them. What level are they up? Do you know? Did she say what number they're up to? Of the I ducks? think we're at one million hundred seventy-two thousand something like that. Oh. That's a lot of ducks, sir. <laughs> so if you come and you get duck here, you get a little like little medallion that says oh, which number you're on. Okay. This is where you have all the famous celebrities that have come here. Oh wow! And you're gonna be on this wall someday. No, I won't. 
and that's me. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> with Brad and Angelina. Perfect. No way. Yeah. Ah. Oh. She doesn't look thrilled, but that might maybe. This Isn't that her brand? <laughs> that's a possibility. <gasps> Uh, that was my father and quite a few celebrities. Wow. Uh, we had Bill Clinton, we had <gasps> John Kennedy, we had wow. pretty much everybody here. We look sane. Walter Cunningham. Ah, no, on fait pas de politique. On a la reine Elisabeth du temps où elle était princesse. On a Où ça? du Japon. Alors c'était assez, assez juste ici. Quand elle était euh, princesse, toujours? Exactement. Wow. Princess Elizabeth. Whoa. And she signed Elizabeth. <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Wow, that's that. Well, c'est trop bien ça. Et vous avez dit quelque chose de, de votre père qui est, il a travaillé ici aussi ou? Alors moi, moi je suis, alors mon père c'est moi je suis le propriétaire. Ah, c'est ça que je lui demandé. Et euh, en fait moi je suis la troisième génération. Oui. Et j'ai pris la suite de mon père et c'est mon grand père qui l'a acheté en 1911. Ok. Exactement. Wow. Donc, il, y a, le, il y avait un jeune gamin là, c'était moi aussi avec le président enfin. <rire> <rire> Confidential place. Ah. Uh, we, we don't, we don't, we are, we, it's like a technical roof in a sense. Sure. Uh, but, but the view is worse, uh, the, the view stairs. Absolutely. Wow. You want a glass of champagne now or later? Uh, or how can I tell you that? Thank you for bringing me. Phenomenal view on Notre Dame and the very famous, almost perfect alignment that starts with Notre Dame and ends with La Défense. Yeah. So this is a special treat because they don't let people up here normally. It's just a regular old rooftop that they've turned into a terrace for us. Uh, and they, they do, he said they watch like the fireworks on the 14th of July up here as well. But what a view! Perfect because you're right above the, you're just right above uh, the roof lines mm -hmm. for the most part. So you're still among the roofs of Paris, which is always like the best kind of view. But uh, I just look at this. Phenomenal. It's really good. And this guy's the owner. I don't know if we picked that up in the elevator or not, but third generation in his family running this place. Pretty cool he grew up in this building. Zeke. <laughs> what are you guys talking about me? I just said you're a YouTuber. I, I, mean, I you felt like I needed to provide some context. I feel, I feel that way every camera. day of my life. I feel that way every day of my life. I love that. That view is amazing. And the view of the Pantheon. Oh, wee! So nice. Ah, that was really cool. I think I'm the last one to come back down. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> You're ready for that, huh? <laughs> you do look very happy. Now I'm gonna make a mess. Merci, monsieur. Mmm. Mmm. C'est l'orange confit. Oui. More alcohol for the morning. Excellent. This is harder to do than it looks, by the way. Hazards of the job. One-handed while filming. Always, always risky. Nice. The vanilla's not that sweet. Mm -hmm. It's great. The nuts are really nice. And the, is, did you say, is there, it's orange? It's orange with some alcohol. Like alcoholic, confit. alcoholic orange confit in the crepe. It's their signature dessert. Mm -hmm. This is what you would have at the end of dinner if you were living upstairs? We'll never know. <laughs> I have to say though, they are so nice. Like, everybody here has been lovely. 
that's why they last. That's amazing. It's so nice. I think the coolest thing about this whole experience has been that we've gotten to meet, like, not everybody, but a lot of people that work here, and they're doing different things. The chef, wait staff. Uh, everybody is really, really neat. And then, like I was saying, everybody's so nice. Really friendly. Someday I'll be able to afford to eat here, and that'll be a glorious day. And I'll bring you. Thanks! Yay! The Celi Poivre Marco Polo. Mm. It's so good. What do you put it on? You put it, I mean, when you're cooking, it's meat or whatever when you're cooking. And it's gros sel de Guérande au poivre vert vinaigré. Mmm. Amazing. Sounds delicious. So a big part of the goal of them opening this bakery next door, they also have a rotisserie over there, and then we were in the epicerie, which is new, the uh, spice shop, as it were, which has got all kinds of good stuff that they use in their own cooking, but also uh, they've, you know, uh, managed to locate a bunch of really good stuff in the area that they partner with, like local French companies, breweries, all that kind of stuff, is to make it more accessible, because the, the tower up there, which we learned the top two floors were added by this guy's grandfather, which is really cool. Uh, isn't that accessible? The meals are really expensive and for the average person you'd probably never get up there to eat And so they figured they would come down at street level and open up a bunch of more accessible Delicious tasty things that we can enjoy simple but high quality, right? That's the goal And so far everything I've tasted lives up to that reputation. It was really good So are we gonna eat this box now or are we gonna I mean, we can try. And give it a go? They gave us a picnic box. They range from 45 euros to 130 the difference being in the sausages and whether or not there's alcohol in the box. So you get wine and then later champagne. My favorite, my most, I'm most excited because they have their own custom Opinel knife. Which they don't, Opinel never does co-branding. So this is a knife that's only available in this box, which means that's how you dig it. And Lindsay's nice enough to give it to me because she knows how much I want it. <laughs> I want shared custody of the knife. <laughs> she can have it on Tuesdays. <laughs> We got this baby. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> you should just ask ask them to bring you one when he comes on your podcast. Oh yeah, good point. Oh, gorge. That is so cool. This is meat. Oh wow, look at that sausage. Holy cow. You can't eat that? No. Uh -uh. That looks really good. Are we eating any of this today, or are we doing well, something else? Well, to you. I think maybe we should. I feel like we should eat something else because yeah. you don't, you can't eat half what's in the box. Yeah. So I'm not a pork, a not a pork eater. So unless you want, I want one of these. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, mm. Give me a little breadstick. Mmm. <laughs> oh wow, that's really good. Anyways, thanks, Lindsay, for bringing me, and uh, thanks you for watching. And thanks to Kenny Fisher, today's patron producer, for sending us out to go up the Silver Tower in Paris and enjoy a little bit of a, a special occasion in the oldest restaurant in the city. Uh, and thanks to the Tour d'Argent. Merci beaucoup pour nous inviter. It was amazing, I had a really good time. And uh, yeah, thanks one last time for this one for bringing me along. See you in a couple days. Good snack. Those are pecans. Oh wait. No summer pecans.